got this little bike bug motor for 25 bucks. There's a serial number on it. And I asked the guy if it ran. He said he drained the gas out of it two years ago. As of two years ago, it ran. So it shouldn't be too complicated to get it going. There's the little uh, exhaust. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to tear into this bike bug motor and I was trying to figure out why these two pieces, I don't know if that's showing up or not, these should line up to fit on a bike fork and you can see that's not anywhere close to lining up. So I was trying to figure out why exactly that is not lining up and if you look closely, ooh, I don't know if this will show up on the camera or not. <clears throat> This piece right here is actually bent uh, up this way and tweaked back and then this back piece is bent back which pulls that down. It's also a little bit out of alignment right here. So this end right here is tipped down. So I think what I'm going to do is take the gas tank off and take these gas lines out of the way and probably take this bolt out. And we'll try and straighten that and then reassemble and put everything all back together. And I would say this little booger will probably run. <clears throat> I will probably clean that up in there too. It's pretty dirty. There you can kind of see where that's bent right there. You can see that and how this piece down here is bent down. So let's pull that off of there and see if we can't get a good running bike bug motor here in a few minutes. So I got that little bike bug motor up on the bench again. After I got everything all straightened out, which by the way, this metal is super thin. <clears throat> so it didn't take any, excuse me, any pressure at all to uh, straighten that out. I was able to just manhand it and just twist it back where it needs to go. But then after I got that done, I put a drill on the uh, friction wheel, which I am actually probably going to trade out to a skateboard wheel. And turned it over to see if I was getting spark. And I wasn't getting spark, so I went and bought a new spark plug. And laid it up against the side, and we're still not getting spark. So I turned off the lights in the garage and was able to determine that I was getting spark. But it was happening back in here underneath this casing. So I decided to take that apart and see where we're losing spark and try to determine what exactly is going on with that. Well, when I went to take this off, these screws that are around the edge, a couple of them are broke off. Which I think these two, this one, and this one I believe are just pins, they're just studs mounted in there. And then the other ones around were super tight and they're kind of Someone had been in there before because they are kind of wallered out a little bit, for lack of a better term. And one of them, in fact, I had to take the roto zip and cut a notch in it to even get a bite on it. But after I did that, I was able to get all three of those out. Now, the mag, before everybody freaks out and says, don't, you shouldn't be moving that, it's, uh, you know, that only has to be off just... 5,000 and it's not going to start again. That is a factory set placement. There are two screws inside here where that bolts to and so there's only one option for that and there's not any play when the screws are in there. They fill the hole so there's no play in that so that should not be a problem. This however is a problem. If you'll notice this little coil guy the tab that holds it in place is right here. Get the lighting on that. And it is broke off underneath that screw. And it sits in this little this little seat, this little platform they've got for it here. So what I'm going to try and do, I think I've got enough meat on on this to tack weld on these two points. Repair that little piece and put it back in here and hopefully fix that so that it stays put where it is supposed to stay. Because I think what is happening is as that is turned and I'm pulling on it, the sides of this are touching 
and probably everything around it is touching like it shouldn't be and so that is causing our issue with with the uh, spark not being where it's supposed to be. I also think this is upside down. So I think I'm going to flip this the other way, turn it so that it'll fit in that little seat right there, because it looks to me like it only should fit to the depth that is this depth here. So I'm going to flip these, turn it around, and who knows if that's even hooked up right, because obviously someone has been in here before me. So we will go from there and see what we come up with. So that there be our problem, Bob. That little piece has come off and will line up right there. So if I can hit that with a weld and not burn through it, which is super thin, maybe, just maybe, we can fix it. Well, it's not perfect, but I think okay. that might actually hold us for a little bit until it breaks again.